Hello, my name is Ray Sims, and I'm one of the executive managing directors of MyPersonalRevolution.org. Now, before you view this video, I want to tell you that some of the information we will discuss can actually be quite alarming. Now, it is not our intent to scare or frighten you, but instead we want to help educate you about the problems we see and face each day. But most of all, we will provide practical solutions to help you navigate the turbulent days we face. So do not be alarmed. We have created a simple solution system for each of the issues discussed today. However, we are calling for a personal revolution, a revolution that begins with you. I want to be very clear, we are not advocating a revolution against our government, our officials, or any other type of protest or violence. It's actually the complete opposite. We are advocating a revolution against living lives of quiet desperation, a revolution against all issues that repress your quality of life, but most of all, a revolution against hopelessness and fear. It is time for a personal revolution. Remember, the revolution begins with you. Jim, of course, uh, a legendary investor. Uh, Jim, can I start off by asking you why you think the equity markets are not responding to the stabilization plans that are being introduced around the world at the moment? Because they're absurd. Jeff, we have people, if I, if I had come on your show every week for a hundred weeks in a row and everything I said to you was wrong, would you keep me on your show? Would you have any confidence in me? Would you listen to me? Mr. Paulson, Mr. Bernanke, and the guy at the New York Fed, Tim somebody, every week they have been dead wrong. Why would you listen to them? I wouldn't listen to them. When the stock market plunges like it did this past week, everyone pays attention. But short-term losses aren't that important to the man you're about to meet, the Comptroller General of the United States. Washington needs to wake up. We need to recognize that we are on an imprudent and unsustainable path, that if we do not start demonstrating serious commitment to putting our nation's finances in order, that we could have a sudden debt crisis that could cause an economic problem much worse than the one that we've had in recent years. It's time to get serious. It's time for results, not rhetoric. RT is sitting down with Gerald Salenti, the founder and director of the Trends Research Institute and publisher of the Trends Journal. What the common American has to understand is that their standard of living is going to continue to decline. It's on a downward spiral. Look where the United States ranks in poverty. Look where how low they rank in education. Look how low they rank in quality of life. At one time, America was number one in all of those fields. And now we no longer win, place, or show. Now we understand that this information is very alarming, but in response, it's important for you to understand that we have developed direct solutions to change any economic situation that you may be facing. Now we're going to discuss some of those solutions in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at the problems we face with our health care crisis. Our families will never be secure, our businesses will never be strong, and our government will never again be fully solvent until we tackle the health care crisis. We must do it this year.
health care is a deep concern for many of us. Yet if we could find a way to afford health care, none of us would be without it. You see, it's a question of boosting our personal income while creating substantial savings that's the key. We will discuss more on that topic, but first, let's take a look at the retirement dilemma. The effects of the current economic crisis have touched everyone. Even if you still have a good job and a paid-up mortgage, chances are your monthly 401k statement will remind you that you've lost a good chunk of your savings. Trillions of dollars have evaporated from those accounts that have become the prime source of retirement funds for a majority of American workers, affecting their psyche and their future. If you're still young enough, there's time to rebuild and recover. But if you're in your 50s or 60s or beyond, the consequences can be dire. And it's drawing attention to the shortcomings of a retirement system that's jeopardized the financial security of tens of millions of people. I'm afraid. You're going to open it now? You want me to? Let's do it. There's good reason for his trepidation. Nearly half of his life savings have vanished in a matter of months. It went down again. How much are you down overall? Uh, about $140,000. Um, does this answer the question? This is uh, what it was in 2005. 2007, you're down below 2005. Right. And another one went down almost $40,000. One right. was 80, 88,000 and then and then it went down to like 50. How old are you? 54 and I live alone. I don't have any children. I've been a career girl all my life. And it's uh, it's been a great career and I don't deserve this. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. The saddest part of this story is that it's being repeated all over the country. In eastern Pennsylvania, 59-year-old Iris Hans lost her accounting job and half of her 401k investments. She's now back in the workforce as a part-time cashier in a grocery store. Your debit card? The fact is that the typical 401k investor is a financial novice. They don't know a stock from a lot. And we give them a list of 20 or 30 mutual funds with really, really powerful names. You know, they sound like, gee, that's where I want to have my money. What are the, generally the quality of the mutual funds and 401k plans? Mediocre. I'll be real honest with you. With half the funds on the list, really dogs, what people would characterize as dogs, shouldn't be on the list to start with. There clearly has been a raid on these funds by the people of Wall Street, and it's cost the savers and, and the future retirees a lot of money that would otherwise be in their account, independent of the financial collapse. Now you've got a bunch of economic wizards jumping in and taking money out of your retirement plan, and they don't want to tell you how much. You can't decipher it in simple English, and they're not interested in disclosing it or having any transparency about it. And most of the people that look at their 401ks have no idea that these fees are being taken out. No. There are legal fees, trustee fees, transactional fees, stewardship fees, bookkeeping fees, finders fees, and the list goes on and on. It's David Ray, who's been so bullish on 401k plans, one last question about what the future holds for people like Terry and Donna McNally and Kathleen Coleman, who you met at the beginning of this story. Dedicated, loyal, I can be there, there's nothing standing in my way. Thank you. Need a babysitter? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the people that we've talked to who are 50 mm -hmm. and 60 years old right. and have sustained these losses say right. there is no way they're ever going to make them back. Right. Do you agree with that? I, I think we have to be truth tellers. Um, I think that uh, when, a, when a person has hit this point and we've had this unfortunate situation, uh, I don't think we can misrepresent what the possibilities are. And the reality is that money is not coming back that they've lost. They can't count on it. As we can see, in today's turbulent markets, solutions incorporating wealth education, access to unbiased professionals, financial resources, and one-on-one -on -one support are a necessity for survival. No longer can we depend on blind ambition and luck for our future. Just look at the confusion surrounding our job market and the current unemployment crisis. 3% unemployment rate last month freak you out. What if I told you it wasn't nearly freakish enough? That it was far rosier than justified. That unemployment isn't really touching 10%. Depending on how you want to look at it, it's closer to 19%. And that's just for starters. Something really remarkable happened in the last 48 hours. The New York Times 
and the Washington Times from polar opposites agreed that the actual number that's being reported is a fraction of the real number. And, and how we got into this trap goes all the way back to right after the Second World War when we purposely, both parties, decided they would leave a certain number of women and men out of the official count. Traditionally, that's not been a huge number. Even in the worst recession since the war, it was never more than a third. That's right. so, so, so for the women or men that officially unemployed, the unofficial number was never more than a third. Today it's one to one. Unprecedented. All right, so bottom line, you're saying what? If, if we're saying it's close to 10% employment, you're saying it's what? It's 20. Wow. And so, so whenever a listener to this show hears you speak of the official number, wherever they live, they should roughly double it. There is a, an old maxim that if people don't hear it, they don't know it. If they don't see it, they don't sense it. You're saying that the government might not be reporting these numbers, but people know it. And if that's true, then they're pretty upset and they're pretty angry. We're in the early stages of a revolution. We could go into a revolution or we could go into a renaissance. Both opportunities are there. The direction we see it going in in the short term is revolution. From the revolution, however, we can go back. A renaissance is a rebirth if we go back to the formula that worked the best in America. Main Street, not Wall Street. America went from the country that prided itself in quality number one to bottom line. How can we make the most money, build it the cheapest, build it the biggest? Revolutions don't happen from the people that are going to be watching American Idol or waste their time away playing video games and their minds lost in, 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 in celebrity culture, pop culture. It's going to come from a different area. Life is an evolution. In the 20th century, man advanced 1,000 years in just 100. In the 21st century, it is said that man will likely advance 10,000 years in 100. No matter what your personal age, you are in the 21st century. It is those who are open to revolutionary advancements that will evolve to succeed, to obtain a successful advantage. It is there for everyone. Advancement is there for you and your children. A true real-life university of knowledge, learning skills evolving in real time, the future effect of every habit, desire, and purpose, a forecast of planning and preparation, proactive decisions, prepared actions instead of reaction, solutions, resources, directions, and guidance for every facet of your life, personal and business, sustainability, health, survival, and overall quality of life. This can be your life, your family, your children's lives and future generations. Life can be just life or life can be a legacy. True sustainability and abundance come to those who seek, learn, and share. No matter your current situation, profession, skills, or knowledge. So now you have a choice to make. A choice to explore this revolutionary mission. A choice to create your own personal revolution find out more about how to take back control of your life and design the lifestyle you deserve, just click the registration button below and join us on our webcast to gain the knowledge and solutions you've been searching for. Remember, the process of creating destiny is evolution, and this evolution can be your life's revolution. So go ahead, click the registration button below, and start your own personal revolution.